For your second lesson today, we're going to teach you how to use the passive buzzer to make a tone or a melody. And this happens by vibrating the air outside of the buzzer to create noise. So what you're going to need for this, you're going to need your Arduino single board microcontroller, two to point wires, and a passive buzzer. So the passive buzzer is the one in your box in a clear bag without the sticker on top. So this also, you can see on the inside of your kits, there is going to be a passive, passive buzzer label on the inside of your kit that labels it with a clear picture to help you find it. On the inside of the passive buzzer is a positive and a negative symbol. So you want to get your two wires. You want to hook one up. So in this case, I'm going to take my red wire and hook it up to the positive. I'm going to take my black wire and hook it up to the negative. So negative, the black wire, I want to go into the ground pin in my Arduino board. For the red one, the positive one, I'm going to choose a random pin on the Arduino board to plug this into. So today I'm going to choose pin number eight to plug this into. And that is the simple wiring of the passive buzzer. And now we are going to listen to Mr. Pro to teach us how to program this. All right, now we're going to program the passive buzzer. So first up, we've got this empty setup function and empty loop function. But first, I'm going to create a couple of important things that we need, a couple more defined. We're going to have one for each note that we want. So we're going to say G3, and we're going to replace this with the frequency in hertz of the note. I just looked this up on a chart on the internet so I could uh, get the frequency for each of these notes. So the note G3 is 196 hertz. The note A3 is 220 hertz. And I'm just going to copy and paste the rest so you don't need to watch me type them in one at a time. So these are all of the notes that we can use, G3 through C5. We also need to think in terms of milliseconds. So I'm going to make a little note here to myself. Let's say the quarter note is going to be 500 milliseconds, an eighth note for those musically inclined. It's going to be half that, so 250 milliseconds. And then that can make a 16th note, half of an eighth note for 125 milliseconds. And we're going to do this in the setup function because I only want it to play this once. So let's start. We use a function called tone. We give it the pin number, and 8 is what our buzzer is on. We give it then the frequency in hertz, which we can just use. C4 since we defined these notes up here. So that now get swapped with the frequency that we defined it as when this compiles. Um, and then the duration, so 750 milliseconds. Now, the tone function starts playing the note, but then it keeps going past it. So we need to delay it to wait for the note to finish playing. I'm just going to do 750 milliseconds. So that's our first note. And then for our next note, we can do tone pin 8. And let's make it a D for, for our next note, also for 750 milliseconds. And then we can delay for 750 milliseconds once more, so we can wait for the note to finish playing. And we do this one note at a time. We keep going, get a whole little song. I already did one that I'm just going to copy and paste, so we don't need to type every single note one at a time over and over again. So we see it's more just delay tone, delay to wait for it to play the next tone, and just a bunch of different notes with some different durations, so we have a little bit of a rhythm. So I'm going to verify. It'll ask me to save it. That's great. And it says done compiling, so I should be good to go. Next, I will upload it to the board, and we'll see if it plays anything.
All right, so we got a little bit of a tune there. And that's how you program for the passive buzzer. 